welcome or welcome back to Beauty Bees. Today we have a haul in two parts. So first I have some TJ Maxx stuff. I went to TJ Maxx this morning, which is one of my favorite things to do on a day off because it's just so much calmer there during the week than on the weekend when it's an absolute zoo. I also have two lip products that I purchased at I think Hy-Vee and Target, well, wrong, wrong order, Hy-Vee and Target that I will be swatching. I think I said that we were going to start with the TJ Maxx stuff, but I'm feeling strangely naked uh, with no lipstick and no nail polish on. So let's try out the lipsticks first. So first we have Glass Ruby from Revlon. I got this at Hy-Vee. I was just talking about how these were discontinued in a video last week, I think. And I mean, I'm pretty sure they are in fact discontinued, but on clearance at Hy-Vee, I found uh, this shade, which I think I already said is Glassy Ruby. It was $3 and I just felt like I needed it. It is a really pretty color. There is just a single swipe. I think I can build up the color a little bit more with a, with a second coat. Not really what I meant, but. Yeah, that's pretty. I like it. I really do like these glass shine lipsticks from Revlon. I think that they look really nice and they feel quite good on the lips too. This one is a little bit less pigmented than Black Cherry that I have, which I appreciate because I feel like for a deeper color, which I would say this is on the deeper side, a sheerer formula in a slip, slippery moisturizing product like this is probably a better bet. So I'm very happy with that. The other lipstick I have is from Wet n Wild. This is one in a Milla Melon. I feel like they could have just called it one in a melon and it would have had the same effect and rolled off the tongue a little bit better. I had not seen these before. I found this at Target. It was, I think, $2.99. And I mean, the color looks nice. It has a nice sort of cocoa or vanilla scent to it. This is promising. I think that's a pretty shade. The shade range of these, at least at the Target that I went to, was very limited. I think there were maybe five or six colors. They also had some pearly ones, which I thought was interesting. I feel like you don't see that super often anymore. And I do like the occasional slightly pearly lipstick. So I'll be excited to try that one out and see how it works out for me. Now let's transition to the TJ Maxx stuff because I feel a little bit less naked now. And I went in really looking for two things. First, I wanted a serving dish or two that were Halloween or fall or something because I realized a couple of weeks ago that all of the serving dishes that I have are very Christmassy. And I just wanted either something that was like not specific to the time of year or something that I could use this fall and I found this cute little Mickey one. This is, this was $6.99 and I just think it's adorable. I was hoping to find some of their Winnie the Pooh Halloween stuff and I did find some of the decor pieces but none of the kitchenware. I thought this was cute. It's a really nice size. It's big enough to be a serving plate but not so big that it's unwieldy or won't fit in my dishwasher and washing dishes is my least favorite household task so it fitting in my dishwasher is important. So I was very happy to get that. For $5.99 I got this photo frame. I'm going to take this to work with me after I put a picture of Beetle inside. They didn't have a great selection of picture frames 
and I'm a little worried that the tag might not come off super neatly, but yeah, it did rip a little bit, but I think I'll be able to get it off. I was a little bit worried that the paint or whatever it is on this would chip, but yeah, I think that'll look nice. And I'm really looking forward to having a little picture of Beetle with me at work because I want to take my doggy with me everywhere. Three quick beauty things. First, we have this Kristen S. Soft Shine Beach Wave Spray. This was $7.99. I've been using a wave spray from Briogeo quite often, and I absolutely love it. It gives me really nice curls. If you've seen my hair worn curly in the last, I don't know, two months or so, it's probably that product. I love it. It is kind of an expensive product though, and I only have a mini. I feel like the mini is going to be gone probably not super soon because I go through hair product really slowly, but too soon for my liking. So when I saw this, I decided to give it a go. This was $7.99. I think I said that earlier. All right then. <laughs> so I learned an important lesson just now, which is that reading is fundamental. Um, and on the back, it says this beach wave spray is made for after you style your waves or air dry. Well, I thought that this was going to be like most wave sprays where you can spray it in, then style, and it helps to form those curls. Whatever. I'll give it a go. I'll see if I like it. I do have pretty wavy hair naturally. Um, this is second day hair and slept in, but if I could keep my waves from day one to day two using this hair, but if I could keep my waves looking good, like from day one to day two using this product, that would be totally worth it for me. So I hope it works out. Um, I probably cut out a lot of the part where I was talking about this because I sound like an idiot now talking about how I want this to form really beautiful waves for me and then learning that it is not what it's intended to do. But in case I cut it out earlier, this is the Kristen S wave spray and it was $7.99. These last two products are what I am most excited for in this entire haul. I really hoped that I was going to be able to find the Pat McGrath holiday palettes from last year, like the little five pans. I saw on Leah Janae's channel that she had found some of those Pat McGrath palettes at her TJ Maxx and she's from Iowa also. There aren't that many TJ Maxx's in Iowa, so I figured maybe they were there, but not at my store, at least not at my store right now. What I did find was this uh, Beauty of Joseon Apricot Blossom Peeling Gel. I hear uh, J Loves Makeup talk about this uh, Beauty of Joseon brand. She seems to really like them. This was $8.99 and it is a peel that you um, can apply and then wash off without waiting which I find really convenient. I hate waiting around with a mask. I find that if I need to do that, I am very unlikely to actually consistently use a skincare product. This I figured maybe I can even take into the shower with me and use that way. It is only a hundred mil size, so not a huge product, but you're only supposed to use it one to two times a week. So it should last me a decent amount of time. They had a pretty nice selection of Beauty of Joseon stuff. They had two different moisturizers that I saw. They had a toner and a couple of serums. So really nice selection. I considered purchasing um, one of the moisturizers, but I'm actually pretty set on moisturizers right now. 
I don't have any peel products though, so I decided to get that. Hopefully it works out. And then I was really excited for this last product. This is from Le Monde Gourmand, and it is their The Jet Set Sampler Pack. So there are seven, uh, seven mil, yes, seven, seven mil little fragrances in here. Of the seven, there's only one that I have in the mini set that I currently have, and that is Lake de Coco, which I used and I enjoyed. I didn't think it was anything earth shattering, but it was a nice coconut scent. And this had a few other scents that sounded promising to me. So there's a rose macaron, a Meal Bebe, which I don't know what that is, uh, Citron Glaze, Matcha Tea, Ocean, and Dragon Fruit, which several of those sounded very promising. So I'll be interested to dig into this and see how they are. I was also really pleased to be able to get this on clearance, actually. This was marked at $13, which I thought was a great deal for seven minis. Yeah, and these are not like tiny, tiny little minis either. These are seven mils, whereas usually you really little testers are like two to three mils. I think they're marked as three mils, but they're usually only filled to two. So really decent sizes. I'm excited to try these out. And that's everything that I purchased. I was hoping to find some planters there as well. They had a couple. There was nothing that was really calling to me. Um, the only one that I seriously considered taking home with me was a little ceramic yellow dog that had like an opening in the back for a plant. But it was a little bit expensive for how small it was, so I decided to leave it there. In total, I ended up spending $45.54 at TJ Maxx. And both the Wet n Wild and the Revlon, which I can't find right now, don't know how it wandered in the last 10 minutes, uh, both of those lipsticks were right around $3. So not a huge haul, but I wanted to share what I got. I always love going to TJ Maxx and just seeing what they have. It's always a little bit of a crapshoot. So. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope I see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.